Okay, so in the last video we um, installed WordPress, we made a couple of changes and we did a push to our repository. So we updated things like our WP config as well as our HTXS file and we need to make sure that's all ready to go for when we go to our live environment. Um, so we've now pushed that off to our repo. So in this video we're going to add in a theme. So if you're developing for a client say, uh, for instance, um, they might want you to have a specific theme made for them. They may not have, want to use one of those ready-made themes. So you might need to develop and test something. Now rather than doing this on your master branch the uh, the best way to do that is to create a branch so it's a kind of like another copy of, of your repo but um, you know you can then uh, it's you can make changes to it and, and uh, do things that you need to do without affecting your master branch and if you're happy with it then you can merge it into your master branch or you can just discard it if you're not that happy or you could even um, you know push it to your repository and get one of your um, workmates to have a look at it totally up to you but anyway let's go through creating a branch and to create a branch we do a git checkout and we do a dash b because what we're going to do is we're going to check out and move into that branch um, straight away rather than having to manually manually uh, move into that branch and we're going to give a uh, that name uh, for a branch so let's call this um, test theme okay all right so that's created the branch and it's now switched us to it so if we do uh, git branch just to check where we are it's going to let us know that we've got our master branch and there is our test theme uh, branch with the asterisks to indicate that we are now on that particular branch so what we're going to do now is we're going to move into our um, content file and uh, I think we've got the themes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, clone uh, a theme from GitHub. Um, so let's just uh, go back to um, there and we've got this uh, Bones which is a really nice uh, starter theme for us to use. So I'm going to grab this URL and going to go back to our terminal and I'm going to do um, git uh, clone and don't need to put in the recursive this time because there's no submodules and it's going to be called bones so that's all good so let's go into there and grab that and let's just make sure that it's adding it in so it is nearly there come on all right we're all good to go so let's now have a quick look in there and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove the um, the, the git uh, files and move that to the trash okay so let's now do a git status okay so it's just letting us know that um, we're now on, on let me just move that to a new screen actually that's right down the bottom okay so we're now on our branch test theme branch and we've now got this whole folder that's got things in it that need to be committed okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a git uh, commit uh, let's sorry we'll do a git add first and add everything in there and let's do a git commit and a message and message addition of the bones theme okay so that's all good git status let's have a look okay excellent um, so all right now just to make sure that this uh, bones hasn't moved through to our master branch we're going to do a git checkout and we're going to go back to master and it's still there for some reason okay all right looks like I've just I've haven't um, I've <laughs> <laughs> I've added the, the folder but not the file so if I actually go back to check out uh, test theme and if we go back in there okay there's all okay not a problem all right so now that we're um, on our branch here our test theme branch let's now go back to our WordPress installation now because we've moved up to a different branch we actually need to log out and we need to log back in again okay and if we go to appearance we should now see 
our bones there okay and you can go ahead and activate it and start doing all your work now if you switch back to your master branch um, you need to log out and log back in again the other thing you can't do is that if you leave this activated and you switch to your master branch and you log out and log back in um, you will um, find there's going to be some errors not only with the front end of the site but also within the dashboard it's going to bring up an error saying that particular files weren't found so whilst you're developing your theme may um, you know stay on that um, that branch where you're doing your theme work and then once you've made all your changes merge that theme back into your master branch and then go ahead and activate it and then start working on something else okay so I'm actually going to uh, log out of here and I'm now going to go back into um, the terminal and I'm now going to go back so let's say that I've um, already done that I've already done all the work that I need it to do and we're now going to do a git merge and okay uh, status okay there's nothing to be committed so let's now check everything okay it's all in there all right so we've now um, um, <laughs> we've now merged our files back in or into our master branch and we can now delete that test theme branch if we uh, wish to um, so I'm going to leave this one here I will go ahead and delete that branch so we'll come back to a clean working directory but uh, in the next video we will look at um, adding some plugins in okay so I will see you in the next video okay bye